Hey everybody, and it's another time for an episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Now, I know this game's going on two and a half, three years old, and a lot of people have played it. Uh, so, I took advantage of the fact that I haven't really played this game, and uh, it seems kind of interesting. Uh, it's kind of slow to get going, but now that I had my first uh, barn find, I wanted to uh, see what kind of options there were for modifications. The first thing I'm kind of realizing is... I cannot build a custom engine yet for whatever reasons. I, I guess I'm going to have to expand out the shop uh, in order to do that. But uh, so, and the other thing, it doesn't appear I can do anything custom uh, overly special to the, the back of this car. So what I'm going to do is, uh, it's going to take me a minute, but uh, we're going to end up ordering all these parts. Um... And I'm going to have to go and oh, what we're going to do is, uh, uh, so let's delete the list. Let's add that guy to the list. So we're going to, we're going to build this thing and, um, see how fast I'm going to have to buy these parts as I go. So it's, uh, not going to be fast, uh, but I'm going to do my best. So let's, uh, start shopping and see if we can, uh, Oh, it's snooping around the uh, power boost shop, uh, which doesn't have anything in that is of any use to me right now. So uh, let's see, leaf spring, rear drive. So leaf. Uh, let's see. I think we're gonna end up there. We're gonna end up with four of these because we're gonna end up doing leaf springs. We'll do that. We're going to do that. Oops, I only need two of those. Let's see. Um, shocks. Uh, let's see. Rear shock absorber. I really don't know the significant advantage one, the, one versus the other. I think this is going to be rear shock B maybe. And let's, let's, let's go with these guys. See what happens. Um... Let's see, drum. We're gonna end up buying. Uh, doesn't look like I can. At least from what I saw, it didn't look like I was gonna be able to upgrade my brakes and make them like disc. So we're gonna just buy new new pads. I'm gonna end up buying that servo anyway. So let's buy that now. Um, let's see, I got that. I got that. Okay, and then we need the axle, which is, oh, oh, what is, okay, so we need uh, knuckle housing C, I believe. Ah, what the hell, we're going to do it. <laughs> Let's see, I think it's knuckle housing C. Then a solid rear axle, we need two of those. Um, I don't know if we need a control arm. So we'll find out there. Um, but uh, let's start assembling some of this stuff. See how much of that I actually was able to uh, remember. Okay, shocks. There's yeah. Okay, so that's good. Oh, see, I bought C and I needed B. That's okay. I needed this this pain in the ass. Let's see, let's get this guy. I'm going to need two of them. Back into the saddle. Oh, let's see. I have not bought my wheel hubs. That's okay. We can go ahead and put our springs on. Our uh, leaf springs and the spring U bolts. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to restore this thing like it's brand new. And then we're going to sell it that way. Hey, I did buy the right shock absorber. That's cool. All right, let's go over to this side. And uh, we can do the same thing over here. 
Spring on. There's all kinds of noise coming. I figured this would be, at least I'd make some good money. And maybe I'll get some decent experience out of this build. And I'm not sure how much of this build we're going to get done. Okay. So I need to get the wheel, the wheel hubs, which I don't have. And I'm going to have to put, let's see, wheel hub. I think there were fours. I need two of them. Now I'm going to need two bearings. Uh, let's go with four of those things. I know I'm going to need at least two caps for a little bit later. And uh, we'll see what. What else comes of it? Okay, so I haven't put my brush, it, my uh, rubber bushings in yet. So let's take care of that before I forget. You know, that is always it seems to be my Achilles heel. I'll forget to put clips on and uh, bushings. Let's uh, put that guy in. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're basically going to get the entire suspension done and uh, get everything ready for the engine. So we'll get the entire, pretty much everything. Oh, I don't have, I don't have a fuel tank. I should have bought a fuel tank. All right. So we'll go ahead and put that on. We're going to put this guy on. We can add the fuel tank later. Uh, I said I was going to focus on suspension anyways. So here's my rear drive axle okay that's good uh, I've got my rear cylinder that's good some brakes nice brand new brakes and uh, a beautiful and we're not gonna put the the wheels on that so let's go over to this side and uh, we're gonna do the same thing here rear drive axle Let's see. There. There. And that should be good there. So I've got my rear suspension completed. Not bad. That didn't take too long. Um, now we got to take care of the front and we got to get some parts. I got to see what parts I need. Um, let's see. Let's take a look and see what all we need here. Okay, so I need a front suspension, cross member. Um, let's do that. Say front. I think it's a cross member E. Okay. And then um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need. Uh, um, a sway bar. Well, let's let's just get it started because I cannot for the life of me remember everything I'm gonna need on this. And I I already have the uh, the bushing, so I can go ahead and put those in. Get that done while I'm still thinking about it, and then I can get an idea of what I need for both sides. I should have enough for one more. All right, then I can kind of use this as a guide to see. All right, so yeah, the steering knuckle, it's uh, knuckle C. I'm going to need a steering rack, a sway bar B. So let's, let's start with uh, steering. Knuckle C. I'm going to need two of those. I'm going to need a steering rack. Need that. Um, and then I'm going to need a sway bar. So here I'm pretty sure I need uh, these are I can't remember if they're A's or B's but uh, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be uh, B's and then I'll need B's and then I'll need tie rods. Uh, 
I need two of those. And then I'm going to need front shocks. Um, and I'm pretty sure when I look at my shocks, it's going to be oh, shock. It's going to be these double wishbone, maybe. Double wishbone shock absorber. Um, let me check. I can't. I, I might be just a shock absorber. Let's see. Whoop. Come on. There you are. Let's get back. Oh, okay. So it's not going to show me that until I get a little farther along. Okay. Let's put you in. Now it's going to show me more. So I need an upper. I need lower. I don't know. Do I have an upper? No, I don't. Of course not. Um, sway bar? I got the sway bar. And I got the steering rack. That's good. I've got this nice little guy. And he's going to tie in there. That's nice. Alright, so I need an upper suspension. I need a low bottom suspension. And I, I'm not seeing... And then I need a front axle cover, so let's get those. Let's see, front axle cover. Um, did it say front axle? Oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. So I need two of those. I need, uh, what is it, uh, top? No, I think it's upper. So I know it's bottom. Let's see, bottom suspension. It didn't say A, B, or C. Ah, who cares? I don't need two of those. Upper. Hey, what do you know? I found that. Let's go B. Just so that I know I bought the wrong thing. Let's see what happens. What's the worst thing that happens? I bought the wrong freaking thing? I mean, come on. That is literally the worst thing that could happen to me. Hey, cool. Oh man, I gotta go buy some more rubber brushings. Ah, oh, jeez. I really should just use those. Yeah, let's just use them. I mean, this is crazy. I'm not gonna buy brand new stuff constantly. All right, um, let's go back over here. I was going to skip it, but I'm just, I've got so many of those damn bushings. Um, I might as well just use them, even though they're not 100%. We will do that. Because I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to... Okay, so what kind of shock? It's a wishbone shock. Double wishbone. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't have... I bought the wrong... Okay, so I just need... I'm off to a good start. Uh, let's see my upper suspension. About two of those. Uh, let's see shock absorbers, double wishbone shock absorber. Uh, front, I need two of these. Boom. Um, I need the front shock absorber caps. I want to need two of those. And then I'm going to need the spring. I'll need two of those. And then I got to go assemble them. Whoop, whoop, over here. Let's put this guy together. Stretch it out. Here we go. All right. One more. that back over all right so we're still working on the right side of this thing oh, didn't mean to do that. I don't know if I put the right stuff in let's see if I bought the right thing yet oh finally shoddy craftsmanship that's what I'm all about oh Okay, do I got anything else I'm missing? Yeah, I'm missing the uh, link. 
Got those guys. And I uh, should have that now. Cool. Uh, do I have this? No, I don't. All right, I need a uh, front wheel hub. Now we're going to get into the brakes. Need a front wheel hub. I'll need two of these. Then I'm going to need... Um, I, I'm assuming they're uh, vent... I oh, will just put brakes. Ah, damn it. Hold on. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be disc. So we'll go with two of those. Uh, we'll go with... I might have some of those. Oh. Then we'll go two of these. Um, we're just going to put stock calipers on. Uh, with cylinders. There we go. Alright, let's... Uh, Let's see uh, where we at. Keep on cruising. About the right one that time. Put that bearing in there. I had all kinds of those apparently. Put the cap. Oh, I have all kinds of brake pads. I can't even remember half the crap I buy. Now, like I said, we're not putting the original wheels back on this thing. That's just silly. Why would I do something like that? Okay. Apparently, I had extra parts. Um, not really sure what's going on there. Because that tie rod should have chimed in because I thought I had an extra tie rod. I oh, I have to add that piece first. He's getting all confused. Let's put our upper end. Getting rid of all these extra crappy rubber bushings. And I, I don't think it's going to be a big deal, but it could be. Let's see. My repair skills are not high enough to really matter at this point. To Nice. Okay, we'll put that front axle cover on. The knuckle cover. Ah, no, I didn't mean to do that. Clicking on the wrong thing here. Alright, that's good. Screw these guys in. Boom. And just like that, the entire front end is assembled. Boom. So what we've got here, it's all stock. There's nothing fancy. Uh, there are no performance parts, unfortunately, for this car that I can tell, at least, at this point. So we're stuck re re putting our wishbone suspension back in. Um, so if we take a look at yeah, we got rubber bushings, mm, 61%. Could have been better but as you can see we have an entire engine still to go got everything we're gonna have to do on that front engine so in our next episode we're gonna tackle the engine and see how that goes but until then that's where we're at right now on this project on this build uh, we've got our suspension in we're gonna tackle our engine and uh, tr our, our transmission and our gearbox should all be ready to go along with our exhaust in this next episode so until then you guys keep playing have fun and uh this is uh boom car mechanic simulator 2018 all right guys have fun